So this is one of the pages from my circle journal. Now I have pre-gessoed the page with black gesso and that's all I've done and I've allowed it to dry. So I've pre-prepared the page uh, and left it to dry overnight. So it's all ready for me to work on today. It's not 100% perfect in the coverage. As you can see, there are spots that will get covered up anyway. So it's not that, um, not that important. So this is gonna be another one of those um, free form art journal pages where I have an idea in my mind of what I want to create or of what the final page I want to look like, but it's whether or not the paint is going to allow me to do that today. So it's gonna be one of those, um, what I call suck it and see jobs where I'm just gonna go for it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it's a learning experience as to how not to do it the next time. So I'm going to just make a start. I've chosen some colors from my acrylic paint and I've got uh, Mars Black from Reeves. I've got Titanium White. I'm also going to use Lime Yellow and a color that I don't often use, Fluorescent Pink. So those are going to be the four colors that I'm going to use on this page. So I have those already handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, divide my page up. I want my image of my page to be um, grounded around about here. So about a third of that page width, so around about there. So I will draw in a little bit of a pencil line um, before we get started. I'll grab a ruler. So I want my base to be around about there. So I'm just going to lightly draw a pencil mark across there. So you can see that pencil mark. Now, it will get covered up, but that will give me um, a baseline. I would say an, a horizon and horizon, um, because it, it's not going to be. It's actually going to be the baseline from where I'm going to build up from. And my horizon will be somewhere up here. You'll see what I mean when I've finished. Okay, so with that, that's the only preparation that I need to do. I will stick some music on, and if necessary, I will stop the video and talk you through anything that I think I need to explain. But apart from that, then I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. Okay, so that's pretty much where I want the, the baseline to be. So I've added a thin wash of white or titanium white onto the bottom third, if you like, of my page. It's slightly less than a third, I would have said, but and as you can see, I have actually taped down um, the page with a little bit of washi tape just to make sure that it doesn't move or maneuver when I'm actually painting. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just grab my heat gun and I'm going to blast that and then dry it off and then we can start building the next layer. Okay, so that's nice and dry and as you can see, it has gone slightly gray. Now I do apologize if it does keep phasing in and out on the focus because there's nothing for my camera to focus on. Um, oh, we've got a visitor. Hello. Oh, somebody just give me a kiss. You can't come in. No, well, no, I'm, I can't play with you. <sighs> Excuse me a minute. Okay, where was I? So as you can see, this is now dry and it has gone a little bit gray. Now because I've used acrylic, it doesn't matter when I put more water over the top of that because that now won't move. So with watercolor, it would have moved as well, but that's not what I was going for. 
So this um, using acrylic means that whatever I put down, I can build layer upon layer on uh, without worrying about it starting to move and start to mix and the colors starting to come on, focus again. Thank you. Um, without mixing and getting mud. So I'm just going to now just use a little bit more of that white and then just add some deeper white towards the top and then just kind of blend that down. So it kind of gradiates further down. The brush that I'm using is a, a filbert, which is the one with the, the rounded end. Just in case you were wondering. Okay, so happy with that. So let's give that another quick blast. Okay, on with the next phase. Okay, so I'm happy with that for the first layer. So I'm just going to give that a, a bit of a blast.
Okay, so I finished with that fluorescent pink layer and I'm hoping that it's showing up okay on there, not too bright and not too um, in your face. So I'm just going to give that a heat blast. Okay, so I think that's dry enough to work on top of. Now I'm going to leave the paint there. I'm not going to wipe any of it up because I'm going to be dipping in and out of it again in a moment. So now we're back, or oh, starting on the lime yellow. And I'm just picking up another small brush. I'm using this one sparingly, don't want to overwhelm the painting. So I'm just adding in touches here and there. Okay, so <clears throat> next step, black. I'm just going to create a line on there. Then I'm going to take an old card and then
Okay, so while that's like that, let's bring that small brush back in again.
So I've taken a break and cleaned up and I've also written in my quote and my phrase in pencil at the top of the sheet so that I can now go over it with a white pen. So here's the finished page in my circle journal and it kind of went according to plan. Um, it's a little bit brighter than I kind of anticipated but then that's because I use neon paint when I should have really known. Um, so I kind of got exactly what I used if you know what I mean. So I'm really happy with the way the writing turned out as well and now I've removed all the pencil lines and all that kind of stuff, it does look a lot better. And honestly, as with most kind of paintings like this, it does look better from a distance. I know that sounds awful, but the, the, if you put it about six or seven feet away, it does look really impressive. It's when you get close up to it and you can see all the brush marks and all that kind of stuff that it kind of loses a little bit of the impact. So I'm happy with it. All in all, I'm very, very happy with it. So, and if I wasn't happy with it, then I probably wouldn't have shown you it. But there you go. I hope you did enjoy watching the process come from start to finish. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And, oh, paint. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And that's all from me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now. <laughs>